So the artificial intelligence in The Last of Us 2 already achieved a great variety of things. The AI already felt believable in the first game, where enemies would work together by avoiding each other's line of fire, and flanking the player and all that. In the second game, Naughty Dog kind of went a step further to make the player feel bad by giving the AI these sort of relationships in between them. So like, when a dog dies, its owner will get pissed, or when you kill the owner, the dog will whine and stay by the owner. If they see one of their teammates dead, they'll often scream out their name, which gives it a certain realism and makes you realize they've just killed someone's friend. Um, it might not really seem like a lot, but it's like when you find a stray animal and people tell you to not name them or else you'll get attached. Right, so this kind of inspired me to create this AI that is aware of its teammates. So mine is simply aware of who is dead or alive, but you can kind of expand this for it to know like when was the last time that a teammate was seen or who were they with or what were they holding. Um, this kind of sounds perfect for a whodunit type of game if anyone wants to do it. Um, I used what it's called the observer pattern to do this, uh, which I will kind of explain further. Right, so I started out by making the AI class, which I called a squad member. Um, this squad member had a list that contained its partners and whether they were dead or alive. Um, the AI also had a finite state machine for the movement and actions. And I did not implement this, but you could have it no information regarding the player as well. Now, here's the scenario that I implemented. So let's imagine that you have six squad members with the information I mentioned previously. Uh, and while it can make them all communicate between each other in order to de deliver and receive information, I figured that an easier way would be to use the observer pattern and connect them to a squad class. So the observer pattern is a design pattern where subject, our squad in this case, will have a list of observers, our squad members, and will update them whenever there is a change. So how does this work? So let's imagine that Manny dies, essentially cutting him off from the squad, and then Nora finds him. Nora first updates her list of information by remembering that Manny is dead and that the player must be nearby. At this point in time, the other squad members have no idea of this, but then Nora proceeds to pass this information onto the squad class, which communicates it to the rest of the squad members, who then update their own lists with the new information. Um, I also use this design to have the squad members send orders to each other, so in this case, Nora could go into search mode and tell the rest of the squad to do the same. So although you could implement this in any engine, um, I used Unity for this project, of course, uh, and I started out by making a simple character that can walk and look around. Then I multiplied a bunch of times and removed the movement to create my AIs. So then I allowed myself to kill those AIs and made them know who died using the pattern I mentioned previously. The core of the AI was implemented at this point, but I want to see how much I could expand it. So I upgraded the test scene to make an environment my AIs could patrol. And then I had to upgrade that scene's visuals because the previous ones were just honestly hurting my eyes. Yeah, so after that, I made a simple pathing AI so that my minions could freely patrol the area. And lastly, I expanded the squad to receive orders and wait for certain events. Um, in the video, you can kind of see Nora ordering her squad mates to go look for the killer and then regroup at the center. So while they were scouting, I kill Owen and I expanded the algorithm to know who's missing and who's back. So they're aware that Owen went out to search for the player, but he never came back to regroup. Right, so that's as far as I took it, but you could obviously expand this in all types of ways. Right, so that was my take on The Last of Us 2 type of AI. Um, I hope this inspired some people and that it was helpful. Um, once again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.